44 assists tonight, seven mm -hmm. turnovers. What's it like playing when you guys are playing that efficiently against anyone? Oh, man, we're just unstoppable when we play that way. Get out in transition play, um, share the ball, um, less turnovers. I mean, it's really tough to beat us if we play that way. What are you seeing, especially being a versatile big man yourself, um, in the in the paint, in the post, when you guys are, you know, you guys have 70, I believe, points in the paint this game? Uh, I mean, just continuing to play, you know, finding my way through as the games go on, um, and just, yeah, just playing, really, you know what I mean? Yeah, just continuing to play. And then defensively, um, you guys had a solid performance there as well, but is there anything that kind of stands out to you that you want to touch on or, or think about? No, I just think we just got to continue to trust it. You know, I think we did a, good, a great job today. Um, just in our schemes and stuff, we just got to continue to trust it. Guys got to, you know, um, trust each other. And as long as we continue to build that trust moving forward, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, it looked like there was a lot of opportunity, or you found a lot of opportunity to make some passes on the inside uh, for rolls and things like that. What's the, what's the key uh, for those kinds of plays work? For me to find people in there? Yeah, or what, you know, what makes them available? Is it you finding them? Is it that spacing? Is it maybe defense? What is it? Um, I mean, I think it's um, a matter of like, uh, like us having a, a physical advantage in, in the paint with our with our wings against a lot of teams, and then to, like since I've gotten here in what was it like February last year, um, we learned more and more like that chemistry. So like uh, Pascal and OG, especially those guys, like they're looking for it every time now, and like we're um, we're designing plays for it as well, like because it's it's been working for us. You and Precious offer really different looks at the center spot. Um, how much fun is it when you guys play together? Uh, I mean, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but um, when it does, I think um, uh, we had a, a pretty good stretch uh, last game as well. Um, it's fun because um, I think we can we can both fill that role. And um, there, was, there was a stretch in the in the Celtics game where uh, they were guarding me with with the guards expecting to pick and roll so they can switch it, um, and we just ended up sending pressures into the screen. So like we're not really allowing that um, that pre-switch to happen too much. And then he's he's so versatile on defense. Like you can really put him on anybody. So like it's not it's never going to be an issue on defense. It's if anything, um, it might even help us on defense. So yeah. You've had you've had stat lines like tonight's before already this year, but it looked you looked really comfortable tonight. Did it feel that way to you, or, or would you agree with that? Like the comfort level, just I, th I think today it was just one of those games where the ball was on a string for us. Uh, I mean, we we saw it in the numbers as well. Like the assist numbers, um, are pretty high. Uh, and it's not just like one person with like 20 assists. It's like uh, throughout the whole team, like everybody was sharing the ball, everybody was moving well. So um, you create a lot of easy shots that way. Um, and we found ways to break down their defense. Um, and it, it feels like we just made the right read um, throughout most parts of that game. Good to be back. Yeah, it's good to be back for sure. The, uh, the people want to know. <laughs> laceration, laceration. <laughs> I just cut my finger. It's all good. Yeah, and like how bad a cut was it? Uh, I had to get five stitches, so it's a pretty bad cut. But it's getting. Did you know right away you're like on the ball? No, I didn't know. So it wasn't like gushing blood all over It was gushing blood. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought I was fine. How does it feel now? Uh, but sorry, right. it's getting better every day. So. so what did you think of Darko's theory that by practicing with your left hand, you're going to make your right hand better? Um, I thought he was onto something. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Mm -hmm. No, I enjoyed it. It was good. Mm -hmm. It must have been sort of odd to just spend three days, or however many days it was like that, just doing everything left-handed. No, but it was good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What did you like about it? <laughs> it was fun, uh, trying new stuff, you know. Just uh, just doing everything strictly left-handed. It was good. What did you try? Everything. Like, scoop shots from like from three point range, shooting threes left-handed, all my free throws. So. Do you feel like you have learned something or you have to pick it up? 
work some of those things into your game? I assume you're not shooting left-handed threes before, but... Well, yeah, I th I'm going to continue doing that stuff, so... Eventually, yeah. Didn't you do a lot of that stuff when you had the thumb injury? Uh, last year or the year before? No. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel to play right handed tonight? It was good, it was good. Mm -hmm. It was fun to play. At any point, did it irritate you or can you call it a shot or? Um, like uh, grabbing the rim, like on trying to dunk, and then uh, some rebounds, some catches, like catching the ball for, to shoot for three. But I'll get used to it, so. Uh, yeah, apart from, from what, what he's putting on the floor, uh, what is uh, Dennis bringing to the, to the locker room in terms of his personality? Mm -hmm. uh, no, Dennis is a great leader. He's a great teammate. You know, he's always positive, always lifts everyone up. And, you know, he's just a guy who leads by example and leads vocally. So, yeah, he's a great teammate. What have you seen uh, the evolution of Scotty's game? What, what parts do you see it evolving the most this year? Um, hmm. I would say all around, offensively and defensively. He's active on both sides. Um, he's shooting the ball really well. He passes the ball really well. He's always done that. He's just turned into a great all-around all player. He's always has been one. He's getting better and better every day. Scotty, uh, looks like one of the strongest points of the game for you guys was that stretch to start the second quarter. You were playing with the second unit. And three or four assists in there, and made a three, and uh, assisted on some other guys' baskets. And how much focus are you putting on kind of really helping drive that second unit when you're in your West? Uh, I think that's been uh, one, of the, one of our um, either things that we need to work on this year. Uh, I feel like sometimes that second quarter when we start off, uh, we really need to get to a good start. Um, so just being able to play with pace, moving the ball, um, that just really helped us. We was making shots, uh, so it really helped us when we got it going, made shots, ran it, played with pace, and we moved the ball back and forth. I know you pride yourself on being a really versatile player who can do a bit of everything on both ends. Are there a few areas of your game where you feel most comfortable at this stage of your career? Um. You know, I just play the game and whatever comes to me, uh, that's, that's really what I take. Uh, I feel like when I'm out there, you know, I, I'm myself and uh, me having the ball, being in pick and rolls, um, me playing off the ball, no matter what it is, you know, I'm comfortable doing it. Uh, I'm everywhere out there on the floor. Darko was just in here saying, and, and he was joking a bit, but he was saying, if you're good, not you. If, if the player's really good at three things in the NBA, he could become an all-star. If he's really good at four or five, he might be out of the league because he's tried to do too much. So what, like, what's your ultimate vision of yourself as a player, I guess? I feel like my game is still growing. Um, that's really just the main thing. My game is still growing. Uh, shots developing, getting better each and every single day. Just keep working on it. Um, that's really the next step for me, uh, for real. So you got a bunch of good defenders in that starting five, but what does it mean to you, to the group, when OG comes back and rejoins? Well, OG helps us so much, uh, being able to have a, a physical, um, strong presence that moves his feet really well, defends really well. Uh, he guards everybody, one of the best, if not the best defender in the league. Uh, so, you know, he helps us a lot uh, with his, how smart he is on the defensive end, um, how well he's able to move his feet, him being able to contest shots, just being so physical, uh, guarding those primarily, primarily guys. Uh, so he helps us a, a lot. How much did you notice the last three games without him? Um, teams, you know, they've been really getting to the paint, being able to kick out. Uh, so him being there, you know, it helped us. Uh, him being on K, slowing him down, uh, not letting him be able to get to a spot where he want to go. Um, having that size and length out there it just helps us a lot. There were points in recent games where it looked like he wanted Precious to shoot a couple times when he didn't. Uh, tonight he was getting him up and he was open. How important is it to have a center who can really 
stretch the floor out for you? Um, him just doing what he does out there on the floor. I feel like it really helps us when he's out there defending, using his length, being able to shoot the ball. You know, when he plays his game, uh, he's really he does, he does really well. Uh, no matter if he shoots it or if he doesn't shoot it. Uh, when he rolls to the basket, he really helps us a lot too. Uh, when he pops and shoots a three, it just depends on the time situation and how he reads the defense. Uh, so if he feels comfortable taking those shots, then that's when we want those shots. Uh, Scotty, yeah, after more, more, uh, more than one month uh, with uh, him, what can you say about what uh, Dennis is bringing to the locker room in terms of his personality? If he's very vocal as a leader, if uh, he's a joker, I don't know. Say it again? Yes, uh, after one month or more than one month with him, what can you say about uh, Dennis Schroeder is bringing to the locker room in terms of his specialty? If he's very vocal as a leader, if he's a joker, I, I don't know. Uh, he brings high spirits, uh, being a leader out there on the floor, just continue to pushing us and motivating us out there on the floor uh, to continue to get stops, uh, keep continue to play with pace, move the ball. You see him out there. Uh, he does a lot of things for us on the court, uh, picking up full court. That brings energy to everyone. It's infectious. It's infectious out there on the floor. When you see him picking up full court, that, a guy that's been in the league for a while, picking up full court each and every single game. So, you know, that, that, that shows something that he's that's special. Um, you know, he's willing to put his body on line each and every night for us. Uh, so he's out there being a leader. Uh, I feel like that's what a leader is, being able to go out there on the floor uh, and, and show everybody what you can do. Thank you. Michael, you've got a single game franchise record for assists before the 44. What did you like about the way the ball moved all night? Um, <laughs> We, we we spoke at a half time. At a half time, we had uh, 23 assists, I believe. And uh, you know, when you played the way we played in the first half, it's such a natural thing to go in the second half and stop moving the ball and stop playing together. And I told guys, let's not talk about after the game how we had only seven assists in the second half. And they they did a really good job. Like uh, over the course of the whole, whole game, we moved the ball, we were finding each other. I still thought that we had m even more opportunities to find open man and and, and move. The ball, but overall uh, with 44 assists, uh, we made uh, we made shots. It's it's good. The assists led to good shots. Is that what rather you can get make passes, you get bad shots. But tonight you said made passes, you get really good luck. Correct, because we were really aggressive in attacking the paint. Uh, start of the game, we were able to to establish a lot of aggressiveness on defensive end. Uh, we started the game with physicality, deflections and steals that led into transition opportunities. We, have, we, were, we were able to touch the paint and score quite a bit in the paint, 70 points in the paint tonight. And then we were aggressive that way to the paint. It just collapses defense and it's much easier to find open men and also to knock down those shots. A few solid games from Precious here over the last week or so. Is it just a matter of him getting healthier or is there something else that, that you're seeing and liking from him recently? Uh, he's doing a good job and I expect him to do an even better job. Like I, I think he's uh, he has a lot of potential, a lot of talent, and uh, I'm hard on him. You know, we were talking every single day what I want from him, what te this team needs needs from him, what he's capable of, of giving us, and I want that to see every single position he's on the court. I thought he did a great job today. I want even more. You said before the game that him playing at center really, and this is a quote, unlocks a lot of skills and traits. Today he was hitting threes, he was driving at five assists. Is that what you mean about playing center unlocks skills and traits for him? Uh, there, there is always that, like, how are you going to numbers, one through five, who's one, who's two, who's three, who's five. It's not really about that. It's not about center or power forward. It's like putting him in actions that's going to unlock his uh, his skill set. And uh, uh, he did a really good job. Like there's going to be opportunities that he will be play, playing together with Yak and that we will uh, keeping him in a high quad or in the corner that we will expect the same thing from him to, to do. You know, uh, he had uh, one uh, bad shot that I, that I thought in the first half and he over dribbled. We talked about it. He knows like all of those situations like I want him to be aggressive. If you're catching the ball to shoot it and attack aggressively, do that. But we, we as a team cannot play in, uh, with a lot of dribbles and, uh, and getting some step back shots. That's not who we want to be and that's not how we want to develop uh, our team. And he did a hell of a job uh, the rest of the game just being aggressive, living in the paint, connecting, connecting with his teammates. That was a really, really good game for him. A lot of high lottery picks sort of just get the ball on day one and, and get to sink or swim and get a lot of reps. Scotty, because 
because it's been a more competitive situation and he has so many good players on his team, he's had to do a bit of everything over time. As a coach now, seeing him as closer to what he's going to become, how, how good is that for you? How many options does it give for you at, at play calling? It is good, but at the same time, it's a problem because uh, he has so many traits, so many things that he can do on a high level. Uh, uh, I always say, like, if you're really good at one thing in NBA, like, you're gonna find, you're gonna find your contract. You're gonna, you're gonna survive in this league. If you're really good in two things, like, you're a heck of a player, potentially starter. If you're really good at three things, you're all star. If you think you're really good at four things, probably you're out of the league and playing in Europe. <laughs> and, you know, so, so uh, it, it, like you cannot be extremely good at everything, and that, that's that's a, that's a problem that, that I'm having with Scotty because he's good at uh, multiple things. We gotta find those two or three things that he's gonna really take 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 the jump to the next level and become an all-star player, which I believe he is. What are those two or three things that you see that you can hone in on? We're still figuring it out, but the, but as you can see, he is such a good driver to the rim. He's uh, really good connecting with his teammates. Sometimes playing him at a position where he can set the screen and roll opens up a lot of things for us. It's a still process in work. He's still 22 years old. I'm first uh, year head coach. We're all learning. Against the Wizards and Bucks, you spoke about the team having a slow start coming out. What do you think about the team start today, especially against a squad like the Pistons and on a Sunday? Uh, I mean, uh, we are playing in NBA. Like we are, like you succeed in NBA if you're everyday guy. If you if you're capable to bring it every single day, uh, if that's Sunday at 4 p.m., let, let let it be. Uh, Sunday 4 p.m., you gotta be ready to go. You gotta find way to motivate yourself and get yourself in the right mindset to go out there and to do, do the best for the team and to play your best uh, uh, performance. I thought that we did really good job. Our starters set a tone, but also guys coming off the bench, everybody like really took us to another level. And uh, you know, I thought that we played a really good game tonight. Obviously, uh, Detroit is the team that's missing like five or six important players. You know, next time we see that team, it's going to be a completely different team, and we got to be ready for that as well. In the first quarter, Pirtle had a um, UCLA cut from Schroeder and then a back cut from Schroeder the next possession. Uh, it seems like a lot of the cuts for him when he's on the elbow are east-west. How important is it to get those north-south <coughs> north -south cuts to really get his passing going? I mean, uh, any cuts that are going, uh, you know, they're away from the rim, they're not really that, that effective and they're not putting the pressure on defense. But every cut that's strong cut towards the rim uh, are really good. And what we're really working on is finishing those cuts because as a player, you're going to try to make a move. And after one, two steps, oh, I'm not going to get it. But actually, all of those passes are coming really late when defense thinks, oh, I got it. And now pass is there for, for lay, lay, layups. And I thought that it, he did a really good uh, job with that tonight. But also, our whole team was uh, cutting really well tonight and creating those opportunities. 